medical condition which is thought to affect around 1 in 3,000 women. It means that she has two vaginas. But Hazel's condition is even more complicated, making her one in a million. She's here to explain along with uh, Dr Dawn Harper. And we read through this this morning going, no, no, I mean, it's, it, it is extraordinary. But, but for you, growing up, when you were little, uh, you didn't spot it and neither did no your mum. No, no, I didn't know I was any different whatsoever. So as a little baby changing nappies and things like that, there is, there, you, you really cannot see this. No. No, even now, if, I mean, I went through examinations as I was growing up because I had certain problems and no one even saw it then. Yeah. It was... but I guess if, in hindsight, when you look back, there were signs, weren't there? Yes. And, and the first time that you noticed any sort of problem ever was when your period started at the yes. age of 14. That was Tell, not fun. That was not fun, was it? Because really you were getting two separate... Well, well, we should women, explain. They like we from should one ex side than the other. Yeah, we should explain before we get into that how how you're built yeah. um, and how that works because we've got a Dawn. Would you explain yeah, just absolutely. here what this what this means? Interestingly, when your uterus develops, when you're a baby in the womb, it starts as two tubes, and the the normal thing to happen would be for those tubes to fuse and then the, the septum breaks down and you form one uterus. What's happened with Hazel is that septum never broke down and the two tubes have made two separate uteruses and two vaginas and two cervixes which obviously has huge implications for you in terms of things like smear tests and so on. Yes. Um, and you mentioned one in 3,000. I think it is relatively common to still have a septum or a, a fibrous band within the uterus or a slightly abnormal shape to the uterus um, and that's the kind of thing that I might pick up on one of my patients who we might be doing an ultrasound for example for a completely unrelated problem and it's just something that we find. To actually have two completely separate uteruses is much rarer and as you which say is one why, Which is why we get into that yeah. moment of, your, of, of a, you're actually having, you could have two periods. Uh, yes. Well yeah, I mean we, we, all, we all ovulate left and right alternatively like all other women but yeah. Obviously, if you don't know which side you're ovulating from and you didn't know that you had two sides, you can be... You wouldn't understand why. Sometimes you'd end up in a bit of a mess and other yes. times not. <laughs> Gosh, that must have... I mean, that, that age when you're just starting your period anyway and it's all a bit confusing, it's yeah. all a bit messy and it's all a bit horrid, it must have been terrible for you. It wasn't nice. I mean, I had friends I'd try and explain to them I'm having problems and, you know, I'd say to them, they'd... I had no idea what I was doing wrong. They, they looked even more confused than well, I did. Well, because you did say, you did ask one of your friends, didn't you? And I, I did. I'll get you to explain this. That you didn't, you were saying, well, which, which My hole? more embarrassing story here is when I actually did ask a friend. I said, oh, do you have any problem working out which holes to put in? And she thought I was putting them at my bottom. Mm. Oh, which, of course, was not the case at all. <laughs> and nothing yeah. like that. And very difficult for you then to go and broach someone else and talk to them about it. I think I pretty much kept my mouth shut after that yeah. for quite a while. So, um, so at, at what stage were you? Did you become alerted to this because you uh, you hadn't noticed? You you had a look occasionally. Yeah. You, you, you checked yourself. You went to the doctor because yeah. of your heavy periods. I was eighteen before I found out. And, and it was, was a boyfriend that says. Yeah, my first something... serious boyfriend. He um he said there was something different about me. I was trying to broach subjects, you know, to do my sex life, things like that, and. He said, or well, maybe there's something wrong with you. Mm. He said, I've always noticed there's, there's this thing here, and I completely freaked out and well, went to go and check on it.